According to state television, a bomb strike on an army vehicle in Damascus on Wednesday killed at least 14 people, making it the worst explosion in the Syrian capital in years, while army shelling in Rebel held Idlib killed 11 civilians, according to the rescue workers. According to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, the assault on the rebel-held town in Ariha, which occurred soon after Damascus bombing, resulted in the worst civilian death toll in the Idlib region since March 2020. Syrian war had killed hundreds of thousands of people and shattered the nation. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the Damascus explosion, which struck a bus transporting army troops in the city's center at about 6.45 a.m., according to the official television. There was no immediate claim of responsibility for the Damascus explosion, which struck a bus transporting army troops in the city's center at about 6.45 a.m., according to the official television. According to a military source cited by the state media, the bus was blown up by two explosives that had been pre-attached to the vehicle. The army engineer team defused a third bomb. Syrian state TV shared pictures of buses burnt cabin on its Telegram channel and rescue personnel could be seen retrieving human pieces. The assault occurred as the bus passed along a bridge named after the president Hafiz al-Assad, the father of current president Bashar al-Assad who died in 2000. We will pursue the terrorists who penetrated this terrible murder wherever they are, stated the Interior Minister Muhammad al-Rahman, according to the state media.